Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. In today's class, we focus on our breath, connecting deep into our abdominal muscle, the transverse abdominal muscle, as well as lengthening our body. You will need a very long scarf for this class. So let's go ahead, meet me on a mat. We're going to start the class sitting. You may sit like what I have now, or you may sit with a cross leg or prop yourself on a cushion or two. So bring your scarf in the length way and place the scarf on the back, on the lower rib cage. So, now, sitting nice and tall, we will start the class with some breathing exercises. Here, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, we'll focus on trying to expand our rib cage to, the, to our scarf, expanding to the back of the rib cage as well as the side of the rib cage on an in breath. Exhale, the rib cage deflate. Inhale, expanding sideways and to the back of the rib cage. You feel that your rib cage is sort of pushing the scalp away. Loosen up the grip in your scalp. Exhale, the rib cage deflate, pulling away from the scalp. In breath. Exhale. Do a quick scan in your body. See if your left and your right rib cage expand equally to the side and to the back. I feel like my right side is a little sticky today. So I'm going to focus on trying to expand a little bit more on my right rib cage. Try to make your breathing breath in longer each time you take a breath. Still sitting nice and tall here. Now this time, as you exhale, we will deliberately pull in the abdominal muscle in towards the spine so that you can expel more of the air out. Inhale. Exhale. Deliberately pull in, activate the abdominal muscle, growing towards your spine as you exhale. In breath. Inhale, still expanding the rib cage. Exhale, pulling in the abdominal nice and tight towards the spine. Let us see if you're putting on a corset. Two more times like this. Last. the spine tall and tall. Excellent. Open the forearm to the side. So externally rotate the shoulder. Stretch your arms nice and long here. Sitting nice and strong still. And we inhale, the arm comes forward. Exhale, pulling the abdominal. Ribcage in, arms open. Inhale, grow tall as you expand the ribcage. Exhale, open across the front of the chest. In breath. Exhale. Your back is as strong like a pillar. Pillar to your body. Two more. Last one. Nice. Stay nice and tall and draw the abdominal in. Rotate to your right as you inhale. 
Exhale, shh. return. Rotate from the spine. Exhale, shh. inhale, tall. Exhale, shh. inhale, taller. Shh. One more set. Last one. Shh. And let it go. Okay. Now, keep holding on to your um, scarf and go into a modified quadruped here. So align your shoulder and your hands, but bring the knees slightly closer towards your hands so your knee and your hips are not in a vertical alignment here. Try to keep the scarf nice and tight as much as you can. The back is nice and long here. We inhale, feeling the rib cage expanding into the scalp without rounding the back. Exhale, shh, deflating the rib cage. Into the rib. Exhale, let's hold the abdominal muscle as well shh, as you deflate the rib cage to support your position. Again, inhale. Spine is too long. Keeping the collarbone nice and wide in front of your chest. Last one here. Now let's take it to some pelvic blocks. So we in breath. As we exhale, draw the lower down and start curling the tailbone under, rounding your lower spine and the pelvis. Inhale, we twist. Exhale, curl the pelvis under. Inhale, release. Exhale, deep lower abs drawn in to tuck the bottom under. And inhale, release. You're pushing the floor away with your hands. Exhale. Inhale, release. Last one. Curl the pelvis. Curl, curl, curl. Inhale, release. Now extend your right leg behind you. Tuck the toes under. Reach the heel away from your hip joint. Leg and the spine forward away from the legs. In breath. Exhale, nice and tight with your abdominal muscle. Support the whole position of the body. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Find the length. Bring the back leg in. Switch. Extend the left leg out. Reach the heel away. Inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, support the back by drawing the abdominal muscle. In breath, lengthening the heel away from the crown of the head and the crown of the head away from the heel. Exhale, you want to create space here in between each segment of the vertebra. Exhale, inhale, bring it and let it go. Okay, you can put this cup away and put it in line on your back. We'll walk to the side and then go ahead and lie back. Right, I like you to lift both leg up, press the thigh, and press the hip joint. Press the thigh to your chest here. As we inhale, feeling the spine lengthening towards the floor, setting the sitting bone and the arms of the hip away from each other. Exhale, draw the abdominal. Muscle into the spine. In breath. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. How much can we flatten the spine down to the floor from the tailbone onwards to the back, the top of the shoulder?
and release the leg away from you down to the floor. Stretch it out and take a set arm overhead. Inhale, reach long. Opposite direction. Top and bottom, reaching away. Exhale, compress the abdominal muscle down to the foot. Inhale, create space. Exhale, we ground ourselves. Bring them in. Switch the other side. Lower the other leg down and stretch the arm away. Inhale. Reaching low. Like a human tuck away here. Exhale. Compress down. Inhale. Reach long. Exhale. Anchor. One more time. And bring the leg in. Last compression. Press it down and release. Okay. Now have your feet parallel on the floor. Knees pointing out to the ceiling. I like you to draw in your abdominal muscle here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Nice and tight in your center without compressing your lower back down. So we want to honor our natural curve in the spine. Extend the leg closer to me out. So your thigh in the approximately same diagonal angle there. So inhale as you reach long. Exhale, drawing your lower abdominal in towards the spine and up along the spine. Inhale, reach the leg away. Exhale, pull the belly away from the leg. In breath. Exhale, create more space. Last one. Taking both arms to the sky. We're going to take your arms overhead as you exhale without popping your rib cage up. And inhale, bring up to the sky. Exhale, reach the arm away. Inhale, bring it up to the sky. Two more. Exhale, lengthening, lengthening, securing that center nice and tight. In breath. And exhale. In breath, bring it up. Bend the knee, take your arms down, switch leg. Extending the other leg long. Inhale, as you reach away. Exhale, pulling the lower abdominal down to the spine and up along the spine here in opposite direction. In breath. Exhale. So nice and tight in your lower abs. In breath. Two more. Last one. The arms float up, overhead as we exhale. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, reach up away, secure your center. Inhale, return. Exhale. In breath. Last one, exhale. Make sure the pelvis is even. Just check myself there, like this. And in breath. And bring the leg down, step. Take an in breath here. As we exhale, we need to firmly press your feet down to the floor and gently glide the feet towards the bottom. So pull towards the heel. Exhale, then we're going to lengthen the whole back down to the floor and lift the head and the chest up, coming up to a chest position. Inhale, lift the arms. And return back. And exhale, drag the feet towards the pelvis. But you still want to keep the feet down on the floor there. So you're not actually moving. I just want you to pull into your pelvis there. So you activate the back of your thighs. Inhale, lift. Return. Exhale. Lifting up. Can we melt that lower back to the floor a little bit more? Using your abdominal. Inhale, lift in your arms and return one more time. Exhale. Lift, 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 step. Here, reach forward and up a little higher. Pulse up. Slide, release. Lift. 
and slide with us. Lish. Lish. Reach forward. A zip like you want to reach your hands to your feet here. Lish. Three. Two. One step. Hands above the knee. Fingers next to each other. Rotate to me. Inhale, center. Rotate to the other side. Inhale, center. Stay high and rotate. Inhale, center. Stay high and rotate. Center. Exhale. How is this center stable? Exhale. Up and over like a rainbow. Exhale. Center. Exhale. Now last one to me. Stay here. You know, pulse is for five. Exhale. Lift. Lift. Three. Four. Five. Stay. Back to the center. Over to you. A little pulse is for five. Shh. Two. Shh. Three. Shh. Four. Shh. Five. Shh. Come back to center. Stay. Arms on the side of the pelvis. Take one leg up. Second leg up. Wrap the legs. Squeeze the legs together. Curl up and then lower the chest down. Let's rock ourselves up to a seated position here. So we're going to curl the bottom up, lift the chest, curl the bottom up, stay round in the back. We're going to rock for five more and eventually we're going to take us up to a seated position. Three, two, make the rocking larger, one, sit up, all in. Well done. Okay. Now, have your feet together and knees apart. In the diamond leg position here and hands underneath the thigh. Lifting up the spine here. I'm actually using a bit of my arms here so my arm muscles are working. I feel like I'm going to pull my thighs up at the same time my thighs are pressing down. Nice and tall here. In breath as you draw in the center and lengthen up and exhale, draw even more. Now, Inhale this time, we're going to lean back, arms straighten, exhale, center. Inhale, now you can choose whether you want to work a lot more in the abdominal by keeping your hand grip a little bit lighter, exhale, come back. Or you want to use your arm a lot to help you lean back so it lets the abdominal. I'll leave that to you to choose for today. And two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, reach and lean, 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 lean. Exhale. Well done. Now round back. Exhale, we round. Curl the center. Keeping the spine rather long. We then roll back. So bring the pelvis underneath you. I like you to think about melting the sacrum towards the floor, melting the lower spine. Inhale, exhale, come up, over forward, lift up again. Exhale, in, up and over forward, roll back, sacrum melting, lower spine melting, chest is open, air breath, Exhale again. You can use a little bit more of arms to help you support yourself up, or you can keep the grip rather light. Two more. Exhale, we roll. We then roll back. Deep curl, deep flexion, long neck. Inhale. Exhale, lift up and over forward. And lift top. Last one. Exhale, round. Roll back, pull back, stay long, and deep curl, pull in, in your lower abs, upper abs, and lift the spine top, well done. Have your feet parallel, knees pointing up, feet separate, take your hands back, full and modified back support here. Chest is nice and proud here, I want the spine to be really long, imagine you have a ruler, in your spine. And imagine the spine is a ruler. So nice and straight and strong. Press the feet down, lift the pelvis, coming up 
to a table position here. Curl the tailbone a little higher and stretch the thigh to me a little bit more. Now send the pelvis down. Stick your booty up as you go down. And again, we press the feet, lift the pelvis, lift the chest. Send the pelvis down, opening across the front of the chest. Let's do two more times. And we lift. And we fold through the feet. We go down. Last one, we lift. And we fold through the feet. And we rest. Turn yourself towards me, go onto your forearm. Stack the legs together, feet together aligned with your spine here. Top arm to the side here. Now lift the waist, the underneath rib cage, lengthen the neck in opposite direction. We're going to do a side bridge. We lift up. Strong here. And lengthen down. Do not drop. We want to defy gravity. We lift. Nice and proud. Across the front of the chest and we lift and lift and lift. The next one we're going to stay up there and lift. Stay, stay. Hand on the hip, open the top leg, close and open. We want to really work on the lower oblique and up. Push the forearm down so you can activate your lat muscle. And up. And four. Stable pelvis. Three. Two. One. Close. Coming down. Up we go. That's right. All right. Same thing here. Forearm lengthening through the spine here. Activate the lower waistline, shall we? Okay, no slouching position in front of me here, please. Proud chest. We press the forearm, lifting up the spine. And down. Uh, make sure that the elbow and the shoulder is in a vertical alignment. And lift. Lengthening down. We lift. And look. And lift. Lower. One more time. And we can stay. Lift. We stay. Hands here. Open. Stable pelvis. Opening across the front of the chest. And push the forearm down. Four more. Three. Two, one, hold, bring it down, lengthen down, slower. Okay, well done. Go to our forearm, please, onto our front. Stack the right hand on top of the left hand. Your legs are long, we will do our diamond press then. We will go to our modified swing. Now, hold your your hips just your hands, reaching the legs away to your toes, actively lifting up the lower abs and send your sitting bone to your feet. Glide the shoulder blades down and we inhale to lift the upper back off the floor. And a knife with a nice long neck. Exhale, low. Inhale, gliding the shoulder blades down towards the mid back and shine the strength forward and up to the left. Exhale, we look. Inhale, we glide, lift. Exhale, we roll. Let's do one more time like so. And inhale, we lift. Legs are active. Exhale, we lower. Now this time, keep the right hand to your forehead as you lift the chest up and lift the left leg off the floor in opposite direction. We're going to reach forward with the, tip, with the tip of the head and reach back with the toes and lower down. 
Inhale, the idea here is to create space in each segment of the vertebra as well as the hip joint. And down. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, and we'll switch. Switch your hands, so this time we have the left hand on top of the right. Light in the shoulder blades as we lift the chest and the arm. And opposite leg comes up. Exhale, we go down. And inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. And two more. Up and away. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, release. Forearm on the side of the shoulder. Push the flow away round the back to your rest position. And go ahead and roll up the spine. All right, let's sit up for our spine stretch. Last exercise for the class. Sitting nice and tall. Your spine is your part. Stretch your legs as long as they are able to. Dorsiflex the feet. Again, do not slouch the spine. The arms come forward in breath. Exhale as we roll down the spine. Imagine you peeling your spine away from the wall behind you. Go forward and down in breath. Exhale, peel. Press back, not peel. Press back your spinal column against the wall, nice and tall. Exhale, roll down and forward. Away, 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 in breath. Exhale, bring it back into the wall and continue growing tall. Imagine there's a string that comes up from the crown of the head. Keep that string reaching up to the galaxy. Roll down and forward. In breath as we go taller. Exhale, roll up. Tall. One more. Exhale, roll down and forward. Go, 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 go more. In and roll up. Tall, tall, tall. Taller, taller. And let it go. All right, bring the feet together. Exhale, just roll the spine forward and just allow your back, allow your head to settle onto your feet. And you can do that through. Otherwise, you can just press your hands on your feet and just go into a fist something and you can just allow your head to relax into your First, or into your palm, or onto your feet. Inhale here. Fill up your lungs. From the expansion of the rib cage. Exhale. Deflate the rib cage. One more. In. And we expand the rib cage as much as wide as we can around the balloon. Exhale, the plate. And go ahead and roll the spine up. Sitting us and tall. And you are done for the day, my friend. Thank you so much. Well done for staying throughout the class and moving with me. And then again, please keep your body mobile, hydrate yourself. Think about your breathing. Think about how you can connect your deep abdominal muscle in the everyday activity that you do. And also remember, stand tall, sit tall, be tall. I'll see you tomorrow back on the mat. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos 
focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.